The 2011 Big 12 Men's and Women's Tennis Championship served up a week of action in Waco, Texas at the Baylor Tennis Center. Top seeded Baylor faced off against number two seed Texas in the Women's Championship Finals. Four of the six singles matchups included players ranked in the top 120 nationally. Thanks to wins by Diana Nakic, Nina Cesarbegovic, and Taylor Orman, the Lady Bears topped Texas in the women's singles. UT didn't go quietly though, as the Longhorns' Ariel Ellis won her singles match, defeating Baylor's Sona Novakova, who was ranked 11th nationally. In doubles play, Baylor clinched two of three matches with wins by the Orman Stanovic and Nakic Novakova pairs, giving Baylor a 4 to 1 overall team win over Texas. It's the sixth straight championship for Baylor women's tennis, while Nakic earned most outstanding player for the women's championship. I thought we played a great tournament. I think, I think we have two weeks to improve now before NCAAs, and we need to use them to get better. But this was a great start. We played a great match today. Texas fought hard, so it was a great job. It gets tougher every year, and uh, Texas played a heck of a match. Uh, they got a great team, and uh, they forced us to play our best tennis, and uh, thankfully we did. It's great to win at home. Uh, you know, this is uh, when the, when I saw that the, you know the Big 12 uh, championship was going to be at home. I mean, I marked that on my calendar. I was something I was looking forward to because uh, I know how much this community appreciates what we're doing with our tennis program, and just to do it in front of them is special. On the men's side, Texas entered as the defending champions, but lost to Texas A&M in the semifinals. Oklahoma knocked off number one seed Baylor in the semifinals too, propelling the Sooners to the team's first final round in its history. It also meant OU would be the lowest seed to ever play for a Big 12 championship final. But the Aggies dominated on the final day, winning every match in the singles and doubles competition. A&M senior Jeff Dadamo won three singles and three doubles matches on the weekend on his way to claim men's most outstanding player honor. It's the fourth Big 12 title for the Aggie men's team. I, I felt like that that was a real key match for us, and Jeff just came out. and They play first strike tennis, and, and uh, Jeff was able to get on top first, served better, I thought, than Costin did, and, and was able to secure that victory for us. It helped us kind of get off the, off the snide there on the, in the singles, and I think everybody else kind of followed suit. It's got to give them a lot of confidence, uh, but we've got to stay hungry and humble here if we're going to be uh, good. We've not uh, gone past the round of 16. This team hasn't, and uh, you know we've got to really be prepared for every team because uh, everybody, there's a lot of parity in this conference. I can't tell you how many 4-3 matches there were this year during the regular season, uh, and it stayed that way during the tournament as well. And yeah, I think we're playing, we're playing really well right now. You know, We're clicking. We've played for almost two years now, and so we're pretty used to how each other play, and you know, we feel pretty confident going to the NCAA tournament, team and individual, so it should be interesting next month. The level of the teams here in the Big 12 are all pretty strong. You know, Not any match that was easy, so we should be pretty prepared for the tournament. First and second round NCAA tennis championship matches for the men and women begin May 13th. For BigTwelveSports.com, I'm Brian Mortensen.